Hello, hello people and welcome back to FM Scout's YouTube channel. It is RDF and today finally, finally I am back with a tactic recreation. Last year this was the most requested and I actually pull it off in purpose for Football Manager 2021 and now in the beta series I am going to deliver this highly requested tactic now i know this is the beta version so i know the match engine could change but the point of this tactic is purely to recreate real life situations rather than trying to be very very successful in football manager but saying that this tactic was very very successful at liverpool for me managing to win every single cup that i played in so that was the premier league the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup and the Champions League and in this video I'm obviously going to talk about how I did this but before I do if you haven't yet or if you are new to this channel please could you subscribe or simply just like this video and to achieve similar results you don't really want to miss anything in this video because I will be telling you some very very important points such as opposition instructions and also training because I feel training in Football Manager 2021 is very very important especially when it comes to tactical familiarity so without a further ado let's get into it During Klopp's time at Liverpool, his tactic game has evolved and now he has turned his tactical focus in increasing ball retention and possession. Liverpool's preferred formation is the 4-3-3 and they usually play more narrow, shifting the focus play centrally with horizontal passes. But it is his pressing game, for me anyway, that is the most impressive. The press would usually start with the front three, Firmino would act as the cover shadow attempting to block the passing option to the opposition's midfield and the ball collector. Salah and Mane would then start to engage by blocking off passing lanes, forcing the opponent to play inside. The two Liverpool central midfielders would then mark the opponent's midfielders, depending on their system of course, and if this collective press is done successfully, it would force the opposition to then play the ball longer, resulting them into losing possession. The fluidity with players positioning as they press is like no other. The full backs are also important as they have to join the attackers with the press. But when this happens, often enough, Liverpool would end up with three at the back. This could be the two central defenders and either full back or if both full backs find themselves higher up the pitch, then of course, the defensive midfielder, the holding midfielder must then fill in to make that back three. For the style of play, Gegen Press still plays a vital role in Klopp's tactics, although at Liverpool his pressing approach has become way, way more proactive. In Sadio Mane and Mo Salah, Klopp has found two attackers which like to run deep and receive the ball into the space. In order to create space for them, Firmino would also have to drop into space between the opposition's defence and midfield basically acting as a false nine or a deep line forward. There, he can not only utilise his playmaking skills, but he can also drag out defenders for, for the incoming wingers. Also, runners in midfield can make that overlap or underlapping run. In the 2019 and 2020 season, Liverpool completed 123 tackles in the opponent's third, which is the most in the league. Also, 1,796 is the number of times applying pressure in the opponent's third, which again was the most in the league by a little bit. Klopp also wants both of his fullbacks, which would have been Andy Robertson and Trent Alexander Arnold, to attack high up the pitch as they are the widest players during the attacking phases. By doing this, the wingers can now play more centrally, especially in the half spaces. And in order to ensure there's enough defensive cover, often deploy a holding midfielder in the 4-3-3 with the two advanced midfielders his side has got more options to interchange positions in order to enable the fullbacks to move higher up the pitch it's also no surprise that Liverpool create a huge amount of chances through crosses from their fullbacks especially Trent Alexander-Arnold as people refer to both of these fullbacks or especially Trent as playmaking fullbacks both fullbacks are asked to push up, to send crosses in, 
but you will notice with Trent there is a little bit more of that creative freedom where he can just cross the ball from deep he can also play some nice angled through balls or he can cross down the byline I feel that Trent has more creative freedom out of the two fullbacks Last season, Liverpool attempted 25,110 passes with 20,887 of them completed, which is the second highest in the league, whilst also completing 383 long passes, which is 30 yards or more through deep crosses or through balls is the most in the league. When recreating in Football Manager, it is very very likely you will have to compromise on certain stuff as certain real life movements able to achieve in football manager but that does not stop us from taking the main aspect from real life tactics so you can play like that team in football manager and the key elements to this tactic i believe is controlling the game in the opposition's half so you would need a high line and a high line of engagement you want to attack through the middle you want possession football not too much possession we're not going for manchester city numbers but we are going to be looking for a higher average possession percentage than most of the teams in the league we also want to attempt through balls often than not we are going to play the offside trap and also of course we are going to be making use of those aggressive fullbacks so now we have that out the way let's get straight in to the tactic And as you can see here, we are lined up with the 4-3-3 with the holding midfielder. In goal, we have the sweeper keeper. He has no special instructions. We are just asking him to be a sweeper keeper. For the left back, we have the wing back on support. He is going to be passing it shooter, but crossing it from the byline. He already has run wide with the ball and get further forward. So more times than often, you will see him being very, very aggressive. For the right back, for the Trent role, we do have the complete wing back because like I said before, I feel he has more of the creative freedom. We are asking him to take more risks and we are also asking him to cross more often. We are not going to ask him to cross from the byline because we want that option for him to cross from deeper areas also to catch the opponents off guard. In centre back, we have the two centre back pairing as the ball playing defender and the central defender. The ball playing defender would be the Virgil van Dijk role. He has the creative freedom them again to hit those diagonal balls to hit those long balls to stretch the opposition as well and his partner which is Gomez most of the time will just be on the central defender duty both of these center backs have no instructions whatsoever for the holding midfielder we have gone with the ball winning midfielder I felt I could have went with the ball winning midfielder or the defensive midfielder on defend duty the reason why I went with the ball winning midfielder is because Liverpool aren't really aggressive in their tackles but I feel that we need just to have that one especially in front of our defense line being a little bit more aggressive trying to win the ball back and with the ball winning midfielder that is exactly what he's going to do whilst playing with cautious on the ball he is going to be looking for the more creative players rather than try and create situations himself I feel this role replicates Fabinho very well on the left hand side of the central midfield we have gone for the box to box midfielder someone that is very very energetic someone that can get further forward but also someone that is going to track back as he has to do some covering of course when that wing back goes off an attack for his instructions, we have pass it shorter, shoot less often and stay wider. We're asking him to stay wider because we want to operate in those channels. We want to play very, very narrowly and to create good chances, we need players to be operating in those half spaces. His midfield partnership is the Mazala, similar to the box to box, but without the tracking back. This is someone that is going to be a little bit more aggressive in the attacking phases. His instruction is take more risk, shoot less often, and of course already he has get further forward, stay wider, move into channels and roam from position. Now for the left inside forward and for the right inside forward, they have the exact same instructions and the same role and duty. Both of them are inside forwards and both of them have the attack duty. Both of them have shoot more often and both of them have sit more narrow. Of course, again, we want these players to be as, as close to the front line as possible. Because if you notice that a lot of the times this formation can transform into a diamond. If the full stand drops into deeper areas, especially in the attacking midfielder areas, then we are expecting our narrow inside forwards to act as 
well basically strikers and this can create a 4-2-2 diamond which is very very impressive and for the Firmino role of course we have the false nine who is going to be passing it shorter but also shooting less often we want him to be looking to create create and create so for the team instructions we have gone with the positive mentality on the attacking width we are on fairly narrow we are going to try and funnel our play through the central areas and once these balls go in the central areas we have a few options either the inside forwards will be making that run so we can obviously play our nice through balls into them or if these players are marked and occupied then the wing backs will have the freedom and the space on the flanks and it will be easy for our central players to play the ball out wide to them. For the approach play we have gone to pass into space. I feel that through balls is very very key to Klopp's system. We are going to be playing out of the back but as we have also the ball playing defender he will also look for the opportunities to play that more risky pass. And on the flanks, we have overlap on both of the sides. This is to try and make them a little bit more aggressive because if you notice, they are both on the support duty whilst whilst the two wider players are on the attack duty. And I feel that using overlap in the system helps trigger these wide players to make those forward runs. For the passing directness, we have left it on standard, which will be according to the mentality. And since the mentality is on positive, you will notice you will get a nice balance between direct passing and also short passing. But with the tempo, we want things to happen in a little bit more of an urgent fashion. When the possession has been lost, we are going to counter press. And when the possession has been won, we are going to be making those counter runs. I feel these instructions are very very key to a gag press when the goalkeeper is in possession his distribution instruction is only to take short kicks he can take short kicks to wherever he wants as long as he's taking those short kicks when it comes to out of possession now people would assume that when you're using Liverpool you can just max everything out so we're talking much higher line of engagement much higher defense line the title marking the extremely urgent person that gets stuck in but I feel that is not exactly how Klopp has his press. As we explained before, we feel that it's a little bit more proactive. So with the defensive shape, we are using the offside trap, of course, with the higher defence line and the much higher line of engagement. This is going to squeeze the opponent, making it difficult for them to play out. With the defensive width, we are forcing the opposition outside. For the marking and tackling, we are not going to be using any because we are going to be using the opposition instructions to set that so make sure you are staying tuned to watch the opposition instructions for the present intensity we are using more urgent we're not using extremely urgent as some would assume which is going to go with the more urgent because this allows us to be a little bit more proactive and when the opposition goalkeeper has the ball we are going to be preventing his short goalkeeper distribution now before we finish off with the tactic we are going to move on to one of the most important points in this video and that is opposition instructions i cannot stress to you how important this is this is going to be very very important when it comes to your press now this is how the opposition instruction is set up you would notice that all the defensive players well mainly all the deeper area players for the opposition are going to be tight marked this is going to help so much with our press cutting passing lanes and making it very very difficult for the opposition to play from the deeper areas you would notice that the central midfielders are also marked because like in real life the Liverpool two central midfielders are asked to type very very close to the opposition's central midfielders so this is the opposition instructions please please employ this into your game make sure they are set before every match because it is very very effective now we have done with that we are going to be looking at some statistics and analysts As you can see here for our attacking efficiency, we are aggressive and clinical. Also for the general performance, you can see that Premier League average and this is our average and it is just absolutely crazy. So our goals per game is 2.32, our expected goals per game is 1.85, our conceded per game is 0 0.32, our expected goals against per game is 0 0.46, our shots per game is 16.5. Our shots on target ratio is 50% and our pass completion ratio is 89%.
Now, when we're looking at the average possession, you can see that we are third. We are 55% average possession, which is very good because that is something that we wanted to achieve. We wanted to play possession football, but we didn't want to have the highest, highest. For goals, we scored the most goals with 88 goals. We have the highest goals per game and the highest expected goals for with 70 expected goals this season. We also had the most penalties in the season and we scored the most from corners which is very very helpful when you have Thiago and Trent Alexander-Arnold. When it comes to dribbles per game we are fourth so you will notice that only mainly our wider players are making those aggressive and direct dribbling. When it comes to clear cut chances created we did create the most clear cuts in the league with 27 clear cuts created. When it comes to defending we have the best defence in the league by far only conceding 12 in 38 games. For me that is very very impressive and we also have the highest tackles one ratio in the league and our interceptions we completed 1,371 interceptions. Now for the squad stats, Mo Salah ended the season with 19 goals and 17 assists and Mane scored 18 goals with 11 assists. Roberto Firmino scored 17 goals which is, okay that's probably the only unrealistic thing about this tactic. Diego Yota got 12 goals, Divock Origi got 11 with Chamberlain getting 10. Salah also had the most assists alongside Mane, Mane has 11, Thiago has 10 and Robertson also has 10 with Trent a disappointing nine if I must say but one thing you would notice that we did have a lot of injuries someone like Mo Salah if we check he's had a few injuries spraining his ankle breaking his toe and getting a damaged knee cartridge and also Trent Alexander-Arnold went through some injuries which obviously probably affected their performance so this is it here we won the Premier League with 101 points only losing one game throughout the whole season which was to Southampton out of all teams in the Champions League we beat let me just say Zebre five goals to nothing we also managed to win the FA Cup beating Aston Villa 4-2 in extra time we also won the Carabao Cup beating Arsenal 2-1 in extra time also beating Arsenal 3-2 in the English Community Shield. Looking at our role to the Champions League, it did not start well at all, losing 1-0 at home to Atalanta. Then we beat Rand, then we went away to Benfica, losing 3-0. At this point, I was a little bit worried about qualifying, but then we beat Benfica on the return fixture. We also beat Atalanta on the return fixture, and then we drew 2-2 to Rand. In the knockout stages, we managed to beat Bayern, then we beat Manchester United in the quarterfinals, knocking out Chelsea in the semi-finals, then finally beating Zebre in the Champions League final. Now, another important thing you do, you simply do not want to miss is the training. When you are doing the training, you want every single individual player training what they are supposed to be playing on the tactic. So for example, Mane is playing as an inside forward in the tactic. So for training, we are going to be training exactly just that. Thiago played most of the times as a Brazala and that is what he is doing. And Trent played as a complete wing back and that is what he is doing in training. I cannot stress to you enough how important this is and it is important for the tactical familiarity also, players need to be happy just before matches when you're doing your tactical briefing. They need to understand what exactly it is you are asking them to do. Now, that is something that probably wasn't most important in Football Manager 2020 as I, as I had very, very many different ways of doing training. But this year, it seems like you have to get familiar with your tactic. And as you can see here, just look at my tactic familiarity levels. It is very, very impressive. But that is it for this video. I think I've had covered just about everything. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being patient. And don't forget, if you haven't or if you are new, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment in the comment section as well if you want to see more recreations. It has been RDF. It has been a pleasure. Please, please stay safe out there. I'll see you soon. Peace out, guys. Peace out.